What's going on guys? Welcome back to Just Knock Smith channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a center console subwoofer box that I built. Uh, me and a buddy started building it like... It's been a while guys, so if you all have seen um, part one, part two... I don't know how many parts there are. Um, and then I kind of stopped filming after like part three or four or five or whatever it was. And I've only made like one update video since the last like how to style video. So I will link those in the description box down below to where you all can go watch us start this project. It's going to jump you way far back in time. Um, probably like a year ago or maybe longer. In this video I'm going to kind of talk to you guys about it and things that I wish that I could have done different. And if you all want to build a center console sub box, like if I like it or not and pretty much the things that I've done different. And then I'm also gonna show it to you all, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and jump inside the truck and we're gonna check it, check this thing out. It's still not 100% complete, but it, it's really close, guys. So let's go inside the truck and check this out. All right, so opening up the door, let me remove this key. So as you can see, it actually looks pretty good from like a side profile. Now y'all are probably wondering what this is uh, because I don't know if I've showed this in the YouTube in the YouTube videos or not. But originally, and all of you audio guys will kind of understand this, I am not a base head or a box builder or anything. We literally done this as like, it was supposed to be like a weekend project and then it turned into like a month project and now it's turned into like full with it whenever I feel like it, which is not very often. So we ended up making it a sealed enclosure. Whenever it was a sealed enclosure, the subwoofer was pretty much suffocating. So we had to add the arrow port. So I calculated the depth, the diameter, uh, and the length of the arrow port. And I placed it right here because it was pretty much my only option. And I actually really, really like it. And this thing absolutely slams pretty good. I'll see if I can get a sound clip towards the end with some non-copyright music. So some of the features that I wanted whenever I was building the center console um, was I wanted the arm height, like the armrest height, to be taller than the factory armrests that were on the seats originally. So climbing up in here, guys, the armrest is the perfect height. We absolutely nailed it on the armrest. Next up, we have a switch panel that I really wanted to end up working out, but we have something different now. So I'm gonna get a plate to cover the hole, or the square, I should say. But the switch panel is right here, and it has one switch right here. I was gonna put another switch right here, and then we would have four charging ports instead of just the one charging port right here. As far as it mating up to the dash, it actually fits really, really well. Uh, this is for my Apple CarPlay. I need to get one of those like magic boxes or whatever so I don't have to plug my phone in to use the Apple CarPlay. And then we end up doing powder coat to match cup holders. And as you can see, they were red. So we literally, I built this so long ago that we still had red powder coat underneath the truck. This plate is actually Velcroed on and I'm not even gonna try to, well, I can try to take it off. It's probably gonna rip the Velcro off. No, it actually didn't. So anyway, it's not finished underneath, but I used Velcro, and I think I'm gonna swap this out for magnets. So we're gonna do magnets instead of the Velcro. And you have a lot, a lot of storage in here, guys. So this is literally, I wanna say it's like 18 or 19 inches by like 15 inches deep. Like, it's it's huge down in there. See, the thing that I don't like about the Velcro is if you don't set it on there just right, then there's a gap right here. So you have to like scoot it forward and take it on and off. So I'm wanting to do magnets so then it will go into the perfect location every single time. Turned out pretty good. And like I said, I'm gonna get a plate to cover this right here. If this charger would get out of the way. Um, I'm gonna get a plate to cover this and it's gonna say like, Just Knock Smith or something or I'll do something custom right there. All right guys, and then jumping on into the back seat. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the sub box and the fitment and everything in the back seat. So right here is the sub that we're running. It is a SCAR 15, I think it's the VXF. I don't even remember. Um, but you can actually, somebody can sit right here in the middle so you can still haul three people in the back of your truck, which is really what I wanted to do. Um, of course, the passengers on each side, they don't lose any leg room or any foot room or anything like that. 
it did not affect anything uh, from that standpoint. Now, of course, the person sitting in the middle, they do lose a little bit of foot room, but these are size like 14 Crocs, and there's still plenty of room. Um, up here on the top pad, I do actually plan on having a rounded square piece of like an overlay for the top and it will be bordered in foam and then wrapped in tan leather uh, just like the, the interior of the truck and it'll be a place like you can set your phones you could sit like and write on papers or do whatever you need to do right here and then you're not going to be sitting on hard wood uh, bed liner with your elbows and with your arms which it's really not that uncomfortable but on long road trips and stuff it does get a little bit annoying similar to a cat eye center console guys so if you have a cat eye or if you know what i'm talking about on the flip up like cat eye center consoles whenever they're flipped down you can like set stuff in the middle and then around the edges it's like foam and it's wrapped in leather so that's what i'm going to do on the center right here so as far as fitment goes on the driver's side, I didn't have to do anything to the seat. On the passenger side, I did have to move the passenger side seat uh, out away from the center console. Um, about a quarter of an inch, half an inch, I ended up reaming out the seat bolt holes and using a washer with the factory bolt so it's not it's not going to move, it's not going to come loose, it's not unsafe or anything like that. And then here you guys go, kind of a Kind of a look at it from the side over here the glove box does open all the way i was afraid of it hitting down here and it's really really close but it actually doesn't hit so yeah i guess that's what i'm going to try to do now guys before i finish this video out we're going to try to play um some non-copyright music and and there is birds dogs cats skunks freaking groundhogs everything is making noise right now this is why i hate filming outside guys but I didn't feel like pulling the truck into the shop and uh, doing this because with the tinted windows and stuff, the lighting inside the shop isn't the best right now. I'm working on getting some more lights put out there and I'm working on building a paint booth, um, another paint booth. So I've already got one paint booth that I'm doing all my work out of now, but I'm building a better paint booth. So I'm gonna go ahead and warn y'all now, if you look up audio stuff on the internet, especially with this being my first sub box build ever and such an odd, shape and box to build and with an arrow port and uh you know only having a certain amount of area to not only make it work right but to look good as well and still retain storage so you have to go back and watch some of the videos guys there's a lot of work that went into this box um and honestly i wouldn't recommend it unless you just want to do it like we did and you're just doing it for fun i really honestly would just recommend having somewhere build you a center console sub box because these things it was a pain, I'm not even going to lie. But anyway, I'm going to try to find some music and play some music for y'all. If y'all are interested in seeing the center console sub box finished up, comment below and let me know. But I just want to make this, guys, because I get comments here and there um, on all of my videos. Uh, when are you going to make another update on the sub box, blah, blah, blah. So here is my update on the sub box, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Always remember, everybody starts out as a nobody, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.